Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel and I help beginners learn CAD CAM systems, that is, systems in which we can prepare our own 3D models and machining programs for CNC machines. One of such systems is FreeCAD, which is a completely free CAD CAM system that we can even use commercially. We can simply use this system without any restrictions, both in terms of 3D modeling and preparing machining programs for CNC milling machines. When it comes to preparing machining programs for CNC milling machines from FreeCAD, we have 2.5D milling functionality, which means we can prepare machining operations, including for operations such as face milling, contour machining, pocket machining, or drilling. In the description of this video, you will find a link to my training. In this video, I will tell you briefly about tool entry and tool exit in contour machining. When it comes to machining contours, in the case of such machining in FreeCAD, we can use customized tool in and out. And here I have prepared two such examples. One example is contour machining, in which the tool enters an arc and the entry is completely behind the material. The second example is contour machining, in which we also have an arc entry, but this entry takes place in the material. And in a moment, I will show you, in a simulation, what it looks like and what it is about. I'll go to simulation. And I have these two operations here. First, I will suppress the second operation so that only the first operation can be simulated. OK, I'm going to slow down here and take this simulation step by step. And here, notice what it looks like. The tool entry is completely behind the material. then it reaches the material, that is the entry is gentle in an arc, and here it gently begins machining. Then it machines the contour and retracts along the arc too, and in such cases, when we are machining a part that is mounted, for example, in a vise, this method of entry can be very useful. The movement in the z-axis is outside the material, and when the tool comes down, the tool is not loaded, and only when entering the arc, does it gently start machining this part. The situation is different when we also have an arc entrance, but, for example, we cut out a part from a sheet. In such a situation, the tool will initially plunge into the material in the z-axis, so in this case the tool will be loaded during the movement of the tool entry in the z-axis, and only when the tool reaches the full depth does the arc entry begin. And something like this, even though the tool burrows into the material along the z-axis, can still be beneficial, because the tool doesn't burrow close to the machined contour, it burrows beyond the machined contour, so there is less risk of damaging the part we are cutting, because depending on the material, this part may sometimes be damaged during tool entry, and then the machining continues simply, we have the part machining, and we also have the arc retraction. The disadvantage of this solution, when cutting parts from a sheet, is that we significantly increase the waste area. Here, the area where we have the entry and retraction of the tool will be waste, which means that the area of total waste increases slightly. And OK, I will exit the simulation, and such an arc entry may have its advantages, and when it comes to contour machining in FreeCAD, we can use such an entry. And in a moment, you will see what these operations look like during machining on a CNC milling machine. And if you would like to learn how to prepare tool paths in FreeCAD, you can take part in my FreeCAD course, Basics of Programming, CNC Milling Machines, and the link to this course is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.